Hello, one thing we've been looking at in class lately is the bus stop method for division. So in this example, this says 28 divided by 4. 28 is our total number, and we're dividing it into groups of 4. Now I often call this the chocolate bar method for division. I draw my dotted lines, and now obviously it looks like a chocolate bar. Then my total number, 28, goes in the inside of the chocolate bar. The first part of the question is basically asking how many 4s fit into 2. And you can see that that 2 is in the 10s column. So up on the top of the board, I've written 4 dots, which is my 4, and then I've done 2. So how many of those 4 fit into 2? Well, of course, 4 doesn't fit into 2, does it? It's too big. If the number on the outside of the bus stop, or the chocolate bar, if the number on the outside is bigger than the number on the inside, you can't do it. So I've put my 0 above my 10s column. So this is what we've got so far. 4 doesn't fit into 2, so it's 0 that goes up in the 10s column. But we still need to use that 2 that we've crossed out. So here's what we do. We cross out that 2, which is in the 10s column, so it's actually 20. And we carry it over to the units column. You'll notice that I've illustrated and used symbols for the 10s and units below. Now obviously we've already got 8 units and we've carried over 20. So actually, in the units column now, we've got 28. So what I've done here is I've carried over the 20 and I've put it in the units column and I've used it by just drawing dots to represent the units. I already had eight there and if you count all those little dots, there should be 28 there. What you'll also notice that I've done is because I've exchanged my tens over to my units column, I've actually just rubbed out the tens so it's really clear to follow. Now this question is basically asking how many times does the four outside of my bus stop or my chocolate bar, how many times does that four go into 28? And this is where your times tables help you. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Four goes into 28, exactly seven times. Now there is actually a way we can check this. Remember those little dots that we did underneath our units column? Now they're in groups of four, so we can just circle groups of four. Now literally all I've done is circle those groups. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups. 28 divided by four equals seven. Now this next part is super duper cool. You can use your four outside of your bus stop and your answer of seven to check your answer. 7 times by 4 equals 28. Okay, here's one more for you that I'm just going to explain with the video. So how many times does 2 go into 3? So we count up in 2s. 2, 4. We've already gone too big, haven't we? And just up here, I've illustrated how many times does 2 go into 3? Well, you've got 1, 2, and then you've got 1 left over, haven't you? So it goes in exactly the once. So how many times does 2 go into 3? It goes in exactly once. But looking up here, we've got one left over, haven't we? So what we do is we carry that one over to this column. Now remember, this is our tens and this is our units column. Now this is not how many times does 2 go into 6. It's actually how many times does 2 go into 16. So then we count up in 2s again. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So it actually goes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. So we put our 8 up here. And that's why your times tables help with this. So it's 36 divided by 2 equals 18. Now there is a way of checking your answer. Basically, what you do is you add a times table sign on the outside. 18 times by 2 equals 36. Now we've done formal multiplication in class, so just a little reminder, I put 18 up here, I put 2 down the bottom, so 8 times 2 is 16, you put your 6 in, you carry your 1, 2 times 1 is 2, add the 1 is 3, 36, 36.